I'd like to read to you uh, in a way which roughly follows the storyline of the three plays rather than the order in, in which they were uh, conceived and composed by that great, unique, and blazing genius, Sophocles, whose flesh lay down in the dust some 24 centuries ago. Therefore, beginning with some excerpts from Oedipus the Tyrant, we will see the hero destroyed. And then see how he makes out after that. You know the story. There's a plague in Thebes. People are dying. Cattle can't give birth. The trees are sterile. The crops are rotting on the vine. They send Creon, the brother-in-law of the king to go find out from the Oracle of Apollo what is the problem. He goes, finds out the problem, comes back, reports it. Someone killed the king we had before you got here, Oedipus. We don't know who it was, but that murder has gone unsolved and therefore unpunished. This blood guilt has caused a miasma, a pollution, a term uh, from which the science and the medicine and the religion had not at all been sifted out. No germ theory of disease and so on. The unpunished guilt is the plague. The plague is the unpunished guilt. And people are keeling over and covered in sores and so on. The people come to Oedipus, ask for his help, and he says, But I will go back again. Again, show everything from the beginning. Worthily has Lord Apollo and worthily have you brought this case around on the slaughtered man's behalf so that with justice shall you see me allied, avenging God and Thebes together, not for some far-off friends, but for myself will I scatter this pollution from us. For whoever killed that king might soon attack ourself. And so taking that king's cause, we help our own. But rise, children of Cadmus, from these steps, praying with your wreaths of twisted wool and laurel, and some attendants summon up the whole people, advise that I will try everything, for we will be seen, or waxing with the god, or shining in our ruin. 